Well, the temperature's going up uh, this week. We're getting hotter. We're also getting drier. It's been windy and we're starting to see more fires. If you're living on a hillside, there are things that you should consider doing now to keep your family and your property safe. It's our top story on 2 News at 6. I'm Jamie McGriff. And I'm Mark Cabell. Emma Riley is live in Tooele County. And Emma, what are fire crews there dealing with? They tell me it's already been very busy. They've responded to more than 25 fires this year. And last year's fire is still very recent for some. I get uh, emotional just thinking about it. Brian Herman says his family and friends were told they had three minutes to make it out of Soldier Canyon. He describes last year's fire as a harrowing experience. As we crossed the fire line, the fire went across the road. That's how close we were from not being able to get out. The fire burned more than 4,000 acres in Soldier Canyon. Not only were campers in danger, but nearby buildings were also threatened. Fire officials later determined a generator exploded, causing the fire. North Tooele Fire District Public Information Officer John Smith tells me most wildfires are human caused and are 100% preventable. What can homeowners, campers do to prevent this from happening? Uh, the best way to fight a fire is to prevent a fire. So we always ask people to be careful with open flame, whether it be campfires, fireworks are very common this time of year, target shooting. They also ask people not to drag chains, throw cigarettes out of the window, or pull over into dry grass if your car is overheating. A simple spark can become a 20,000 acre wildfire faster than you can imagine. If you are a homeowner, he suggests cutting weeds and trees down so that you have around a dozen yards of vegetation free area around your house. That needs air, it needs food, and it needs room to grow. So if we can starve it of those three things, we're preventing the fire before it starts. The experience hasn't stopped Brian from camping, but he says it left a lasting impact. We still go. We just have that in the back of our mind that something could happen drastically. And if you need more tips on how to prevent wildfires, you can find that information on utahfireinfo.gov. Reporting live in Tooele County, Emma Riley, KUTV, 2 News.